Also tonight here in Kalamazoo, Western Michigan University, they responded to concerns on campus after they didn't send out an alert Saturday night. The university president and its public safety officer addressing questions and frustrations in a public forum tonight. And 24 hour News 8 Sarah Hurwitz was there and she has more from across town in Kalamazoo. Sarah. Well, a lot of students wanting answers tonight after they say that their safety was put in jeopardy after that alert did not go out on Saturday night. But President John Dunn says that it was following campus policy and that there was no immediate threat to campus. A shooter on the loose. We have four that are dead and we have one that's in critical right now. An entire city on alert and on edge. But a campus community some feel was left in the dark. And I was driving by that area when the shooting was happening and I didn't know about it till one o'clock in the morning. Could have been a lot worse. I mean, people could have seriously been killed without hearing the campus alert because they might have gone out not realizing it. Western Michigan University within just a few miles of the shooting scenes never notified campus of an active shooter. The apology is sincere, deeply felt, and emotional. We did not meet your expectations, and for that I am deeply sorry. President John Dunn says that's because of the Clary Act. Only if there's an immediate threat to campus will it alert students and staff of safety concerns. If he was to come onto campus um, and the WMU alert was not sent out and students were not prepared, um, I personally feel that this could have ended in a much more tragic way. But a packed house tonight argued passionately for changes to university policy. Would you guys consider maybe revising the policy for maybe within five miles of campus? What about doing an additional system that people can choose to opt out of that is in collaboration with the KDPS for incidents that happen around? President Dunn recognizes the university made a mistake and the university wants to find ways to make the system more effective and in getting information out to campus. And so does its public safety director who gave a timeline of when campus police knew about the shooting spree. And President Dunn says that if the university were to expand its radius for campus alerts, that the alert system would be on overload. Now, again, tonight, the students were mainly concerned with the fact that even though there was no threat immediately to this university, that there could have been a threat to students who live off campus and who were uh, in the city at the time. Live in Kalamazoo, Sarah Hurwitz, 24-Hour News 8.